Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Dafra and in this 43rd video class of DIP, we will study bit plane coding in digital image processing and its implementation in MATLAB. Starting with the name, what is the meaning of bit plane coding? Bit plane coding means we will be slicing our image in different bit planes and will achieve compression. See, we have already understood this bit plane slicing in our 12th video class of DIP, namely piecewise linear transformation function, bit plane slicing in digital image processing and its implementation in MATLAB. So there it was mentioned that this bit plane slicing can be used for image compression also along with image enhancement in the spatial domain in the form of piecewise linear transformation function. So there we also understood that not all the bit planes are necessary to represent an image. We may omit few of the bit planes and still the image quality will be acceptable. So this bit plane coding will split a multi-level image into many bi-level images and then we can apply different image compression techniques that we have learned so far for achieving compression. So let us start. Currently we are learning different lossless compression techniques and bit plane coding is also a type of lossless compression algorithm using which the image can be recovered completely and it is an effective technique for reducing an image interpixel redundancy. So here the idea is to process the image bit plane individually. We know that if the image is a 8 bit image, then it will be having 256 gray levels in between 0 to 255. So each pixel will be having 8 bits and we can slice out each of the 8 bits from each of the pixel and hence we will be processing the image bit plane individually. So the technique called the bit plane coding is based on the concept of decomposing a multi-level monochrome or color image into a series of binary images and compressing each binary image via one of the several well-known binary compression methods like run length coding which we studied in the previous video class. So this figure shows the bit planes of an image. The bit plane 1 will be the least significant bit plane or the bit plane consisting of the least significant bits and bit plane 8 will be consisting of the MSBs or most significant bits of all the pixels. So we can see that if this is our original image then it can be sliced into 8 bit planes starting from bit plane 1 up to bit plane 8 and each bit plane is having bits from one of the bits out of the 8 bits of a pixel. So from this figure we can see that most of the information is contained from bit plane 5 to bit plane 8 and of course we can also include bit plane 4 for more clarity. This can be understood like this. Say this is our original image which is having pixel values from 0 to 7. That means it is a 3 bit image because so inside the computer this image is stored like this 6 will be stored in the binary form 110. Similarly 1 and 7. So now using bit plane slicing, we will be slicing out the 3 bit planes of this image because it is a 3 bit image. Say our first bit plane is the MSB plane or most significant bit plane. So the MSBs from these values will be used for this MSB plane. So here the MSBs are 1, 1. Similarly, the center bit plane will be consisting of the center bits from these values and the LSB plane or least significant bit plane will be consisting of the LSB of these values. Now once we have sliced off our image in such bit planes, we can apply different binary compression techniques like run length coding, LZW coding, etc. So this is the theoretical explanation of the previous slide. A decimal value say 3 is represented as 0 1 1 in binary using this equation. But this bit plane coding has got a disadvantage that small changes in gray level can have a significant impact on the complexity of the bit planes. Say for example imagine an image with all values as 127 and 128. So you can see that 127 and 128 in binary are just complement of each other. So when the image is having all the values like this, then bit planes will have a lot of variations because all numbers are complement of each other. So each bit plane will be having zeros and ones and there will not be a continuous pattern. But actually in the image, these two values are near to each other or adjacent to each other. So how to solve this problem or disadvantage? The solution is to use gray code rather than BCD codes which reduces the effect of small gray level variations. So mathematically 
the gray codes can be mentioned using this equation where this symbol denotes the exclusive or operation so we know that for these gray codes the adjacent numbers differs only in one bit so in bit planes we will obtain a continuous pattern that can be used for compression using compression technique like run length coding now we can see that after application of gray code 127 and 128 just differs by one bit so our problem of discontinuous pattern is solved and now each plane can be compressed further using run length coding or other compression technique let us implement bit plane coding or bit plane compression in matlab so this program is the same program that we saw for the 12th video class i have made slight modifications of writing uncompressed image and the compressed image to the hard disk so that we can realize what compression we have achieved so i am reading my original image and converting into grayscale image and i will be writing this grayscale image into one folder output underscore matlab of my e drive and you have to write this path as per your pc so this will be my original image which will be stored in this folder by using any of the compression techniques such as huffman coding or lzw coding now as we know we will be extracting different bit planes and subplotting it and now what i will do i will combine only few bit planes using bit set say bit plane number 8 7 6 5 and 4 and i'll be omitting bit plane 3 2 and 1 and reproducing my output image which will also be written in this folder so now i can compare my original image and the compressed image so let us run the program and see the output so this is my original image which I have sliced into different bit planes and now during reconstruction I will be only using bit plane 4 to 8 and I will be omitting bit plane 3, 2 and 1 so that I achieve compression. Even I may not omit any of the bit planes and apply different compression techniques to achieve lossless compression. When you compare both the 8-bit image and the 5-bit image, visually there is no difference in between the two images. So we can see that even after omitting 3-bit planes, the output is similar to the input and the folder where I have written my both the images is this and let us see the properties of the original image it is 167 kilobyte and my compressed image is 97.5 kilobyte so the compression ratio which I am achieving is approximately 1.71 which is a very good compression ratio so that is all for this video class thank you very much